Welcome to 3D Printing Industry News, brought to you by 3D Systems. Inside 3D Printing Show in Santa Clara, and we have uh, Espen Sievertsen from uh, Type A Machines. So, how have you found the uh, the show so far? Um, it's been it's been a lot of fun actually. So, uh, I mean, it's just getting started. There's uh, a lot of really interesting uh, talks on the agenda. Uh, we were in yesterday just uh, holding a workshop. We had uh, about 20 people come by, and uh, you know, they're all interested in 3D printing. They're all excited about all the new technologies coming out, and I think you know. Days like today and, and, and this week really just show how incredibly quickly the industry is advancing, uh, not just on the hardware side, but also on the software side and in terms of the services and, and, and the whole community sort of, you know, really moving quickly forward. Excellent. Sounds very interesting. So yeah. um, your company, Type A Machines, is based here in California. So um, tell us a bit about the, the BAM, uh, yeah. <laughs> BAM uh, cluster of 3D printing companies that okay. you're now part of. So, so we created uh, what we're calling the Bay Area Advanced Manufacturers, or BAM for short. Um, and really what it is, it's uh, an attempt to start gathering different parts of the industry under one roof in order to give our users more of a you know, full tool chain uh, when going from idea to object and from prototype to market. And um, so what we've done is we've got 12 different companies now moved into an old uh, Ford plant uh, just south of Oakland Airport in San Leandro. And uh, they're all non-competing. So the idea is we work together to basically kind of create a seamless interface and, 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 and service hardware and, and software uh, apparatus around 3D printing so that you know, users of, of, of all different levels can have a better time with not just the hardware but the software and the 3D scanning and the materials and you know, all of these different elements that really combine to create the, uh, the, the results. And, and part of it is, you know, I, I don't think that people really care about 3D printers. I, care, I think they care about the object in their hand at the end of the day. Yeah. And so what we're trying to do is to make that part easier and then everything else just becomes more of a seamless back end. Sure. Yeah. Okay, that sounds exciting. So, um, uh, and what was the motivation behind setting up the cluster? So, um, yeah. so there is um, local advantages, obviously, obviously that um, you can bring to the region. So can you talk yeah. a little bit about that? So, so the, I mean, there are a couple of local advantages and then I think that there are some, some, some wider reaching implications as well. Uh, one of the big things for us is actually is you know, just purely strategically. I don't have a billion dollars. I can't buy up, you know, 26 companies in the space of a year. Uh, also, I can't buy up the biggest, you know, companies in the industry. But what I can do is I can create uh, accessible hardware and software platforms for other people in the industry to connect to. And so that's really what we're doing. So from a strategic point of view, it's really important for us to be able to provide the, the entire tool chain bandwidth of services and products that our users need when they want to go from prototype to, to, to professional production. And in order to do that, we figured out, well, you know, we can't do it alone. We actually have to work together with, with the others. And so we've created this cluster. And it's already starting to have an impact on the region. So we can see here in um, you know, the Bay Area that you know, we're already starting to become this center for innovation and excellence. So people know to come to us when they have questions about 3D printing or 3D printing associated, you know, tool chains that they want to do. Sure. And, you know, at this point, I don't actually know of any other space in the world that has as many different 3D companies under one roof as, as we do. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty actually proud that we managed to get this together with 12 different companies in, in one space. And I think you're going to see knock-on effects from that in the industry as well as other people start realizing, okay, we're going to have to work together. Um, so, you know, if you're listening, come work with us because we're, we're very much in that vibe at the moment. Sure. Yeah. And you think it will have a global effect? Um, I hope so. You know, I, 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 the beauty of open source and open hardware and, and uh, also of, of the industry where it is right now, which is very much a gold rush into new markets, is that there's a lot of room for collaboration, you know. And so, you know, with the different companies coming online and starting to look for their own niche and for their own market, 
I don't see most of them as competitors. I actually see them as potential partners for creating that whole user experience that is so important. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very exciting. So, what is next for your company? Uh, any new uh, 3D printers coming out? Or uh, maybe. You so, <laughs> I, I don't want to say too much about the 3D printers. Um, hardware is happening and there's a lot of new developments happening on the hardware side. But actually, one of the biggest things that we're focused on right now is the services. So, um, to put it in context, we realized about seven months ago that one out of ten of our users have actually started their own company or are running their own startup using our 3D printer as their primary tool. Um, and for me, it's kind of the, the maker 2.0 uh, sort of story. You know, a lot of the early adopters of 3D printing are starting to go into low volume manufacturing. And we realized that, well, you could buy a, a $60,000 printer to do sort of professional print things, but it's still going to be too slow for low volume manufacturing. But for $60,000, I can sell you 20 of my printers and you'll have a 20x output. So, so really where we're going is, okay, well, what if we have print farms as a low volume production tool for the makers that, you know, started off just making things for fun, but are now actually finding that they have whole businesses. So, you know, a, a great example of that is one of our customers, he, um, uh, he's been 3D printing cookie cutters and, you know, that's a big business now. So, and another one of our customers, he 3D prints um, dividers for two-part resin for the aerospace industry. Okay. And, you know, he needs like 800 of those at the time, and they're all different sizes. And 3D printing can solve that compared to injection molding. So what we're doing is we're saying, okay, well, we can provide that, but if you're a professional manufacturer or you're a maker trying to start your own startup, then you're actually going to need to be able to deliver on time, deliver the quality, you know, do all of those things. So that's where we're building out, you know, uptime kits where you have, you know, replacement parts on hand. You have uh, service agreements where we can actually print for you if you're running out of bandwidth or, or need extra capacity. Um, our warranty, of course, is being extended now so that, uh, you know, it's a one-year warranty. But also, if you want to modify your machine for your own purposes, we'll still keep your vo uh, warranty. And so, you know. Even if you hack and modify your machine, we're still going to support you. And I think that's very much in line with where the make movement is moving as well. Uh, professional companies starting to come online, but they still want to be able to, you know, make small changes uh, to the machine or, or to what they're doing in order to kind of hit that magic formula, which is 3D printing plus X, you know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So thank you very much for the interview, and uh, I wish you a very uh, successful rest of the show. Oh, it's been fun so far. So thank I'm you. sure it'll be. It sure will be great. Yep. Thanks for watching 3D Printing Industry News TV, brought to you by 3D Systems.